For decades, the biggest dream of anyone who drives an electric car was a simple one. To be able to travel long distances without stopping every few hours to recharge. In 2026, that dream finally has a date, a form, and a name. Tesla has revealed the Model 2 to the world, and what it promises is not only to revolutionize the concept of the electric car, it's to make combustion engines seem like museum relics. The new aluminum ion battery promises a range of up to 2,540 Wellen kilometers on a single charge. Yes, more than 2,500 kilometers. That's enough to cross the United States from coast to coast with just one stop, or maybe not even that. And do you know how long that stop would take? About five minutes. That's faster than making coffee. It's no exaggeration to say that this announcement turned the market upside down. Suddenly, all the limitations used against electric cars, charging time, short range, high cost, were tackled at once. And not with vague promises, but with an even more impactful number. Use 5,678. That's the estimated cost of the retrofit package that can update older Teslas with this new technology. For many people, that's less than what they pay for a state-of-the-art cell phone. The difference? The updated Tesla can travel almost the entire continent in the time it takes for a lunch break. Of course, amidst so many impressive numbers, the question arises, is this really possible? After all, for a long time, this aluminum ion battery was seen as a laboratory project that would never leave the drawing board. But Tesla says that not only has it left the drawing board, but it's ready for mass production. And if there's one thing Elon Musk loves to do, it's silence the skeptics with a functional product before they even finish their criticism. If this battery truly delivers on all its promises, then we are facing a watershed moment, the kind of change that only happens once in a generation. The impact of this goes beyond the enthusiasm of brand fans. The entire automotive industry may have to rethink its plans. Hybrid cars, hydrogen-powered models, even cutting-edge EVs with lithium batteries, all risk looking outdated. The Model 2, with its affordable proposition and absurd performance, arrives like a hurricane. And the most curious thing is that Tesla seems less concerned with selling new cars and more focused on improving what already exists. This changes everything. Instead of discarding the old, it proposes to transform it into something even better. This idea of transformation gains traction when considering the economic landscape. Buying a new car involves fees, registration, insurance, and, of course, the total cost of the vehicle. But what if the owner of a 2022 Model 3 could, for a fraction of the price, transform their car into a model with triple the range and ultra-fast charging? It's a bold move, but one that makes sense, especially in times of economic uncertainty and the pursuit of sustainability. Reusing and upgrading can be smarter than replacing, and Elon Musk knows this. Another curious point is that, even with all these advancements, Tesla isn't touting this battery at grand public events. No brightly lit stages or fireworks. Everything is happening behind the scenes, with calculated leaks, supply chain rumors, and tests in controlled environments. And it's precisely this absence of spectacle that makes everything even more intriguing. It seems that, this time, Musk wants to let the results speak for themselves. If this is true, the world may be about to witness one of the biggest turning points in the history of mobility. There's something almost poetic about the idea that an electric car could now surpass even combustion engines in every aspect. Speed, cost per kilometer, maintenance, environmental impact, and even refueling time. What was once seen as utopia is now about to materialize on the assembly line. And this completely changes the game, not only for drivers, but for how society views the future of transportation. In 2026, Tesla isn't just launching a car, it's declaring independence from oil. For years, the aluminum ion battery was treated almost as a joke within technical circles. The idea was promising, 
but it always ran into the same three barriers, chemical instability, low energy density, and difficulty integrating with existing systems. In other words, it worked on paper, but in practice it was a nightmare. But Tesla seems to have discovered how to overcome these barriers. The secret lies in what they call CPMI, or Cross-Platform Module Interface, a complicated name for something brilliantly simple, a battery that serves as an attachable component without needing to reinvent the entire car. This thing called CPMI acts as a bridge between the past and the future. It was designed to fit perfectly in the same space where the lithium battery packs are currently located. And when we say perfectly, we mean it. The aluminum ion module measures approximately 1. 70 centimeters long by 1.40 meters wide and weighs 567 kilograms. These dimensions were not chosen by chance. They correspond exactly to the shape of Tesla's current skateboard battery packs. In other words, no cutting of the chassis, no redoing of the bodywork. The new goes where the old already was. And this is something huge because it allows something the entire industry has always avoided, updating older cars with the latest technology. It's no exaggeration to think of the CPMI as a universal heart. You take out the old and put in the new, without trauma, without surgery. It's as if the car has been waiting for this from the beginning. And, between us, it even gives the impression that Tesla was already planning this move since 2021, when it began standardizing every detail in its Fremont, Austin, and Shanghai factories. Everything meticulously aligned. The obsession with modularity is the kind of thing that seems boring until the day it changes the way you live. Imagine what it means for a Tesla owner to know that their car can gain a new life without needing to go to the junkyard. And we're not just talking about aesthetics or software, but about tripled real-world range and charging times. This changes the value of the car. It changes the customer's relationship with the brand. And it even changes the environmental impact since it extends the lifespan of millions of vehicles without needing to produce new ones from scratch. But of course, even with all these indications, it's impossible not to be skeptical. After all, Tesla hasn't yet held an official event to present this battery to the world. All we have are leaks, registered patents, behind-the-scenes rumors, and some isolated tests here and there. However, when you look at the investment the company has made in standardizing its production line, you can see that the puzzle is coming together. And the central piece seems to be this battery, which until yesterday was just a hope. Another interesting point is that the aluminum ion battery industry is already heating up. More conservative projections suggest this market could reach $5 billion by 2035. More optimistic forecasts, however, predict overuse $25 billion in the same period. In other words, there are still uncertainties, but the movement has already begun. And when it comes to Tesla, Elon Musk is usually one step ahead of the market. If he truly masters this technology before his competitors, the game changes completely. Once again, if there's one thing that has always bothered those who buy a new car, it's knowing that in a few years, it will already be outdated. For decades, the automotive industry fed on this anxiety. New technologies came bundled with new models, and anyone wanting to take advantage of these innovations was practically forced to change vehicles. But Tesla is challenging this logic with a proposal that seems simple, but is extremely bold. Improving the car you already have. With the concept of retrofit, the company promises to transform Teslas, manufactured from 2021 onwards, into true machines of the future all with the new aluminum ion battery. The most curious thing about this idea is that it turns the traditional business model of car manufacturers upside down. Instead of pushing a new launch every year, Tesla is saying, you don't need a new car, just a new powerhouse. And this completely changes the customer experience. A 2022 Model 3 with the retrofit installed can have more range, shorter charging times, 
and superior performance to virtually any current electric vehicle, including recently launched models from other brands. And this without needing to change cars, without extra fees, without bureaucracy. The economic advantage is hard to ignore. For around US 5,178ers, a Model Y owner can triple the car's range and drastically reduce charging time. Just to compare, this value is less than many optional packages sold today in luxury vehicles, and those don't even come close to offering something as impactful as a performance leap like this. Furthermore, since it's an upgrade and not a new purchase, the car owner avoids costs associated with paperwork, registration, increased insurance, and other charges that typically accompany a vehicle change. And it doesn't stop there. Tesla went beyond the physical aspect. The new battery comes with a digital energy system that operates intelligently and flexibly. This means the car automatically adapts to the new type of energy chemistry, without the driver needing to understand anything about voltage, inverters, or temperature. Everything happens via software. The interface between the car and the battery adjusts in real time, managing voltage, heat, and energy distribution with surgical precision. The result is a driving experience that feels more alive, more responsive, and more connected. This opens up a new product category, the car that evolves from the inside. The idea of having a vehicle that can be upgraded with cutting-edge technology without having to discard the entire structure is very similar to what happens with smartphones and computers. But now, this concept is reaching automobiles with gigantic implications. Imagine an entire fleet of Teslas receiving internal upgrades that take their performance to the next level. Not just software, but fundamental hardware, such as the battery, being replaced in a practical and accessible way. Of course, this stirs the emotions of those who already own a Tesla. After all, it's as if the car has been waiting for this moment since it rolled off the assembly line. And that's what makes it even more interesting. The retrofit isn't just an engineering solution, it's also a customer loyalty strategy. A customer who sees their car being improved instead of being discarded feels valued. And a valued customer is a customer who stays with the brand. Elon Musk, with his focus on building ecosystems instead of just products, seems to understand this like no one else. Few people realize it, but installing a new battery in an electric car is more than just fitting a power unit. Each cell carries a different voltage, requires a specific cooling pattern, and can even interfere with the vehicle's electronic brain if it's not compatible. In the case of Tesla's aluminum ion battery, this would be a fatal problem. After all, it operates at about 20 volts per cell, while traditional lithium batteries are around 3.8 volts. In theory, this could fry the electronic systems in seconds. But in practice, Tesla has created an elegant solution that transforms this obstacle into one of the greatest innovations in retrofitting. The secret lies in a completely new multi-chemical management system. It acts as a universal translator between the new battery and the car's old components. The inverter, which is basically the organ responsible for transforming battery energy into movement, is now controlled by software that adapts dynamically in real time. This means that the car not only accepts the new battery, but learns to extract the best from it, as if it were changing languages, but maintaining the same identity. All this, of course, is done through OTA updates, wirelessly, without a workshop, without complication. But the intelligence isn't just in the code. The hardware has also been redesigned with meticulous attention to detail. The new battery uses micro-cooling channels through which a thermal fluid circulates, removing heat with maximum efficiency. This liquid flows to a metal plate that acts as a heat sink, preventing overheating even under extreme use. And most impressively, all of this was designed to work without needing to modify the car's original cooling system. It's like fitting a rocket engine inside a regular car, and it's simply accepting it. This type of advancement shows how far Tesla has come looking beyond the obvious. While other brands focus only on increasing range or reducing costs, Musk seems to be assembling a much larger puzzle. 
With the CPMI, the new cooling system, and adaptive management, what we have is an intelligent energy ecosystem, and this transforms the car into something almost biological, an organism capable of adapting, evolving, and responding to the environment. The battery is not just a source of energy. It becomes a command center. The result of all this is performance that defies current standards. The promise of over a thousand miles of range with a 60 kilowatt module doesn't seem exaggerated when you understand the efficiency of this new system. And the price? Still surprising. U5178 dollars installed. A value that demolishes any argument against the retrofit. With this package, the driver gains ample range, absurdly fast charging, and no additional licensing or tax costs. The car remains the same on paper, but inside, it's become a completely different vehicle. This is where Tesla's plan starts to look less like a simple innovation and more like a silent revolution. Instead of flooding the streets with new cars, the company is proposing to give new meaning to old cars. And this is much more than just economics. It's a change in mindset. It's about moving away from the logic of disposal and entering the era of upgrades. And let's be honest, this has everything to do with the times we live in, where software is more important than hardware, and adaptability is worth more than novelty itself. If the new battery already seemed like an absurd leap, the way Tesla intends to use it to transform the very logic of energy infrastructure is even bolder. The inevitable question that arises is, with such fast charging times, just five minutes, can the United States electrical grid handle it? In theory, no. But Tesla didn't just think about the car, it thought about the grid as a whole. And the answer it proposes has a name and weight, Megapack. Each new Gen 54 supercharger station will come coupled with one of these giants, a kind of stationary battery capable of storing energy overnight and releasing it during the day. This concept is ingenious because it relieves pressure on the national grid. Instead of drawing energy from the grid during peak demand, charging stations function as autonomous mini power plants. The driver arrives, connects the car, and in five minutes is ready to travel a thousand miles without affecting the city's instantaneous energy consumption in any way. This is because the electricity used at that moment was already stored, charged at strategic times. It's like making peace between electric cars and the energy system with intelligence, balance, and sustainability. And Tesla seems well prepared to scale this. The Texas Gigafactory is already capable of producing more than 10,000 megapacks per year, which can supply thousands of new supercharger stations with this intelligent logic. The vision is not just about more charging points, it's about a distributed energy ecosystem, where each car and each station contributes to a more stable flow of electricity in the country. The infrastructure becomes a living network where everything balances smoothly without overloads, blackouts, or bottlenecks. This transformation also extends to users' garages. Around 80% of electric vehicle charging still happens at home, mainly in the early morning hours. And that won't change with the new battery, quite the opposite. What changes is that the car owner now gains incredible flexibility.